dictation software works with voice commands where I can tell the software open Chrome and it'll open up Google Chrome or whatever web browser that you use. And then I could tell it to go into the address bar. There's a specific voice command for that. And I will speak whatever URL I wanna to go to or Google search. I will say press enter. So instead of physically pressing enter on the keyboard, it's going to take my verbal command and it's gonna pass that into the computer. Okay, so here I was finally able to pick the pack size of four, but it took quite a few steps. I tried to navigate through using the tab and that didn't work because I quickly lost track of where I was visually on the page because there was no visual focus indicator and just trying to select four didn't work probably because the four isn't programmatically associated with its radio button. And then finally, as a last resort, I had to use the mouse grid. So I had to pull that up and then narrow the focus down to finally get the mouse grid over that four that I wanted to select before I was finally able to activate it. It's very likely that you or someone that you know and someone that you love, friends, family, are going to need to use assistive technology at some point in their lives. So it's beneficial for companies to make sure that their products are accessible because one, it's just better so that more people can access the information that's out there. But if you're trying to market a product or a business, it makes it so that more people are able to access your site or your app or whatever it is that your, your product is.